an alleged ex of 90 Day Fiancé star Gino Palazzolo, to whom he sent photos of Jasmine Pinita, revealed what his head is like without the signature hat and added that Gino should continue wearing it. TLC viewers got a taste of Jasmine's possessiveness on the 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days premiere when Gino revealed he gives her evidence, reports of his whereabouts to curb her suspicions. Jasmine had issues with a waitress and called his first wife stupid. It remains to be seen how she'll react when she figures out Gino sent her news to this alleged ex. And until then, the woman known as Lindsay Ryder dropped some bombshells herself. Long story short, Gino was supposedly in a sugar daddy sugar baby relationship with the lady after meeting her on a dating site. This was back in 2015, but after it ended, Gino seemingly kept contacting the lady and sent her pictures of himself with other sugar babies. This went on until Gino started filming 90 Day Fiancé, which is when he sent her photos of Jasmine. But when the woman decided to let Jasmine know what her boyfriend was up to, Jasmine appeared to have responded rudely to her in DMs. Moreover, Jasmine also accused Gino's alleged ex of harassing her. Gino also accused his ex of being desperate for fame. The woman claimed that 90 Day Fiancé producers asked her to be on the show, which she declined. So while Gino's storyline about him sending his ex NSFW photos of Jasmine has been teased in the trailers for 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Day Season 5, Lindsay mostly won't be featured on the show. However, she did do an interview with Katrina from the broadcast, where she cleared the air about the accusations made against her by Jasmine and Gino. The podcast also involved her solving the mystery of Gino's head and why he really wears the hat round the clock, except for when he's sleeping. I have seen him with his hat off she admitted and added, he looks much better with the hat on. Gino's alleged ex said she was 100% serious while saying that and not even trying to be funny. According to her, Gino has some hair still left on his balding head, but he refuses to shave it. And he has I think it's called psoriasis she said about Gino having the skin disorder on his scalp. I think that's why he does the hat she explained. But Gino's alleged ex also mentioned that his head is misshapen too. She wants Gino to own his baldness and the podcast host added that Gino can always get his scalp psoriasis treated. While that does answer the burning question of what Gino is hiding under the hat, it also confirms that fans won't ever get to see his bald head on 90 Day Fiancé. Fans expected Jasmine to be spilling the beans on Gino's hatless head, but he refused to get intimate with her with lights on. It's clear that Jasmine is not a fan of Gino's hat or his entire look, which made her want to give him a $500 wardrobe makeover. However, Gino outright refused a makeover by saying he didn't have the money when he's now okay to spend $2,500 on Jasmine's Island getaway because she didn't appreciate getting an electric toothbrush for Christmas. But no amount of money might make Jasmine happy when she figures that Gino is someone who refuses to let go of both his hat and his exes.